So to make my clippings, I'm going to be using this hair that I got from Enmold Hair Company, which is an AliExpress hair vendor. So I've already done a review for their straight hair on my channel. And on that video, I kept on saying, well, there's hair. But their official name is Enmold Hair Company which i will also link in the description box so this time they sent me four bundles of kinky kelly hair which i am super excited to use that's why i'm doing clippings i decided to do clippings because i have plenty of wigs and i just wanted to do something different and i already have like um plans like like different hairstyles that i want to create using clippings so i decided to make my own and like enough they sent me kinky kelly hair which is super amazing so yeah again their hair came via aramex it took only four days it was shipped on a monday from china to south africa it arrived on friday morning i got it friday morning before eight so it was super fast and yeah still no customs straight via aramex just came to my gate and I paid nothing so I highly recommend this vendor I haven't tried the Kelly hair this is gonna be the first time I'm trying the Kelly hair but the straight hair that I had on one of my videos I think it was like two or three videos back I will link it in the description box below and also try to pin it up here so you guys can check it out they sent me four bundles which is I have 18 inches um 20 22 and 24 so for the clippings i'm going to use maybe two bundles and i'm going to use the shortest ones so i'm going to use uh 18 inches and 20 inches so these two are the ones i'm going to use this side and then most importantly you're going to need your clips I got my clips from Glamour Hair, which is a salon in Santin. I think they're in Windy Wood in Santin. I will also link their online store because they have, they have an online store in the description box below. I got these um, large clips. And what I love about their clips is that they have this uh, rubber thingy here, which protects your hair from like, damaging while you pull or while you comb your clips. So this is really really important to make sure your clips have this it's sort of like a tape it's like a an electric tape so their clips have this tape. make sure if you're getting clips they have this little rubber tape here so i will link all the information in the description box below where you can get them you can even go to their store like i said they have a store in santin in windy wood you can just drive there they open seven days a week and they also have an online store so you're gonna need your clips let's go ahead and start making clippings so first thing first you need to section you need to know how many clips you want i think i want about one two three four about five clips i'm going to put it around here so first section your hair and And I'm going to use my hair tie to put the other hair up. Now I know where my first clip is going to sit. It's going to be here. So I'm going to start with the 18 inches, which is the shortest one. Because I want my clips to be on the same level. I'm not putting the long uh, hair at the back, just like how you make your wigs. I'm putting the long hair up so i'm going to start with the short hair at the back so that it kind of like come to the same level and be like to and look a little bit natural so now you take your words and you measure from end of your um section from end to end so it's about there so this is so this is how long my first clip is going to be and i'm going to turn it so i'm doing sort of like a fold over method and i want my wefts to be doubled instead of having too many clips i'd rather have one um i'd rather have less clips with more volume i'm going to double my wefts like that and then after that i'm taking my scissors and you just snip them like that so this is the first clip so for my second clip, I'm not going to start it like here. I don't want it to be too visible, so I'm going to start it 
like an inch away from my edges so I'm going to take my weft again put it somewhere around here and then wrap it make sure it's sitting right on the line right on the part not on top like so and then at the front again make sure it's not coming all the way in so i'm going to stop it somewhere here and then i have my second weft and then just wrap it and then make sure it's like doubled it's like equal amount and then you go ahead and you cut your weft so for this one i'm going to triple it you can triple your webs you can uh, double your webs whatever you want so i decided to go ahead and add another weft so it's going to be sort of like three webs so before i cut it i'm measuring like three sizes and then i'll go ahead and cut it okay. so it's like so it's like um all the way up to here which is another sort of like half an inch from the edges and that's going to be my third clip so I'm going to wrap the weft up to there and again wrap it So that's my third weft and I'm going to cut the hair. And now I'm going to measure my fourth clip. So it's going to start from here, which is about half an inch from my edges. Wrap it around. Again there and then rub it and around i think i'm gonna do six clips because um here in the front i'm going to make like little clips with um two clips each so i'm going to make um actually three no just two so I'm not going to go around, I'm going to measure straight because I normally wear my hair on a side part or a middle part. So these two are going to be like the same size with two clips. So it's either I'm going to put them here on the side and have a middle part and put another one on the side or I will put two of them on the side and then part my hair here. So. I'm going to measure them on the middle part which is like the longer one compared to the side so I'm taking my weft measure it half an inch away from my edges all the way to the end so it's about this long I'm going to wrap it twice to get three pieces like this then again I'm going to measure you can just measure it from the same one it's fine because we want them to be the same size so it's about there wrap it wrap it and then cut there. like so so i am almost done with all my clips i'm left with one i just wanted to do like a close-up um, video so you guys can see how i do them exactly so this is one of the front ones with two clips um i already have my needle threaded here so what you do like i said to you guys i'm going to triple them 
so I folded them into three parts make sure everything is equal all the ends are like equal like so now I'm taking my needle and first I make sure everything is like aligned and I start sewing and I did tie the end of the thread so that it doesn't go through and while I'm doing this I'm actually sewing on the band not on the hair so I'm gonna go again and do another round like so all the wefts are like joined together I'm gonna take my clip and put the needle through this hole the first top hole here like so and then open the clip so you need to open the clip to make sure that the teeth are not against the hair so that you can be able to clip the hair on your hair let's just say this is your hair you need to be able to clip the teeth of the clip onto your hair so you need to open it just to make sure that um, the teeth are on the right side and then now I just go around and uh, zoom the hair and the clip together maybe like five times Once I'm done uh, sewing it about five times, I can go ahead and close the clip and continue joining the wefts together until I get to the um, next portion of the clip. Now I can join the other teeth of the clip. Like I said, I'm sewing on the first hole here. There's about three holes, so I'm sewing on the first hole. So I'm going to do this about five times, making sure it goes through the hole. So now that I've done that about five times, I'm going to continue sewing the hair until about here where I can attach the next clip. And so now I'm about to add the second clip. I'm gonna open it like so, place it, put my thread in. And I'm gonna sew together. Sorry about the dogs, those are my neighbor's dogs. Um. So I'm gonna do this about five times. So now that I'm done sewing five, about five times, I'm gonna continue joining the wefts together. Again, I'm going to do this about five times. And then once I'm done, I'm just taking my scissors and cut out the thread. And then um, tie these two threads together. Like twice. It should be secured, like so. And then take back my scissors and cut out the access thread. So that's my clip, it can open both of them and you can close both of them. So 